Bill Clinton initiated a private meeting on a private plane with Attorney General Loretta Lynch. Now, this news is troubling because as Attorney General, impartiality is not just expected, but required from Loretta Lynch, seeing that she'll be tasked with potentially pursuing charges against Hillary Clinton if the FBI recommends an indictment. So to hold a private meeting with the husband of the suspect, well, the words conflict of interest come to mind. Now, of course, according to everyone else, we're being a little bit too hasty to jump to conclusions because Loretta Lynch contends that the meeting was just primarily social, so there's nothing to worry about, guys. And also, they talked about their grandchildren, golf, and their respective travels. Right, because Bill Clinton and Loretta Lynch, they go way back as golf buddies. Oh wait, I forgot that Bill Clinton actually used to golf at an all-white country club where Loretta Lynch would have been denied entrance. So that story probably isn't true, but I digress. Even if it is the case that the investigation was not discussed, which nobody is naive enough to believe that, well, did they not at least think of the optics and how this would look bad and look like corruption? I just don't see how you can not worry about that, and naturally, this meeting drew criticism from nearly everyone in both parties. Even some Democrats were concerned about the meeting. So Politico explains, I do agree with you that it doesn't send the right signal, Senator Chris Kuhn said Thursday in response to a question about the meeting. I think she should have steered clear even of a brief, casual social meeting with the former president. Coons, through his office later, walked back his assessment. Senator Coons believes that Attorney General Lynch has addressed this question and said they talked about their grandchildren, travels, and golf, and nothing matters involving the department, Coons spokesperson Jonathan Cott said. No, do you want to know what is a normal social gathering? If you go out to get coffee, if you take a walk together, but going on a private jet where nobody can hear what you're saying? That's not a primarily social meeting. Something is up. That's suspicious, and it's really telling that this guy walked back his criticism, and then he then used the same talking point as the Justice Department, saying that they were talking about uh, grandchildren, travels, and golf. Now, you won't be surprised to know that Democratic leaders quickly rushed to Loretta Lynch's defense. So, Senator Harry Reid said, I can't control who meets with whom, and he also said, look at the other side, you've got Donald Trump, so we're satisfied with our candidate, and I think that she's doing pretty damn good. Who cares if there's evidence of corruption and that this looks suspicious? Look at the alternative, Donald Trump. <laughs> No words. Now, Senator Chuck Schumer said, well, she said nothing was discussed related to the investigation. Hey, genius, of course she's going to say that. Do you think that if there actually was a quid pro quo, she's going to come out and say, yes, I actually can confirm that Bill Clinton offered me $100 million to not pursue charges against Hillary Clinton, and I have accepted them. Do you think she's going to do that? Come on. So we'll never know. This is suspicious. It looks like corruption. It looks bad. So even if it's the case that this is innocent, which nobody believes that, it looks really, really bad. If the Republicans did this, Democrats would all be collectively losing their minds. But because it's a Democrat, well, you know, it's okay. We can give them a pass for their corruption. Now, the White House defended Loretta Lynch, even though they did state that concerns about the meeting are legitimate. Now, White House Press Secretary Josh Ernest declined to say whether the meeting was appropriate. And according to The Hill, Ernest said Lynch's three decades in law enforcement show she is committed to impartiality. She certainly understands that investigations should be conducted free of political interference and consistent with the facts, he said. She's made clear that's the expectation she has for the way this investigation should be conducted. Now, many have called for Loretta Lynch to step down, and rightfully so, I believe. Now, some people may question whether or not this is too harsh, but I don't necessarily think that's the case, because if she simply recuses herself from this particular case, well, it's still a problem seeing that uh, she has bad judgment in other cases. Recusing yourself is something that you do at the beginning of the case, because if she really is friends with Bill Clinton and they both go way back, it's too late to recuse yourself. And to show that she actually would meet with Bill Clinton during a criminal investigation of his wife, the suspect, it calls her judgment into question on every other issue. So no, I don't think it's too harsh to actually call for her to step down. However, with that being said, I do actually believe that Loretta Lynch came up with an accommodation that's actually reasonable surrounding this investigation. So according to the New York Times, she will accept the FBI's recommendation when they conclude their investigation. This right here changes everything because now she's saying, yes, I will take their recommendation and I will do what they say. If they recommend an indictment, I will pursue charges against Hillary Clinton and indict her. 
This is absolutely huge. So New York Times explains, Attorney General Loretta E. Lynch conceding that her airport meeting with former President Bill Clinton this week had cast a shadow over a federal investigation of Hillary Clinton's personal email account, said Friday that she would accept whatever recommendations that career prosecutors and the FBI director make about whether to bring charges in the case. She said that the case will be resolved by the same team that has been working on it from the beginning. The Attorney General said she had decided several months ago to defer to the recommendations of her staff and of the director of the FBI because her status as a political appointee sitting in judgment on a politically charged case would raise questions of a conflict of interest. So even if it's the case that she made a bad decision having this private meeting with Bill Clinton, it does seem as though she's self-aware enough to realize that this does not look good and it really makes her look bad. Now they continue. The meeting with Mr. Clinton, she acknowledged, only deepened those questions and she said she felt compelled to publicly explain her reasoning to try to put concerns to rest. Lynch explained, and I think that, again, I understand that my meeting on the phone with former President Clinton could give them another reason to have questions and concerns. While she insisted that the meeting was a purely social encounter, Miss Lynch said, I certainly wouldn't do it again. Miss Lynch described the questions raised by her meeting as personally distressing for her because they stained the reputation of the Justice Department. The fact that the meeting that I had is now casting a shadow over how people are going to view that work is something that I take seriously and deeply and painfully, she said. So here's where we're at and why there's reason to believe that a Hillary Clinton indictment is imminent. So the investigation is now coming to an end. And prior to this week, although it was probably going to be the case that the FBI would recommend an indictment, which would still be a bombshell, well, many people believed that the Justice Department would not pursue charges anyway, because it is up to Attorney General Loretta Lynch's discretion. That changes everything. Now, furthermore, uh, if you look at the evidence, I would be shocked if the FBI did not recommend an indictment. I'll put links below to the videos that I've done covering the topic. So now because of this, because she said that she will comply with the FBI's recommendation, the chances that Hillary Clinton will actually be indicted has increased substantially in my opinion. Now the biggest question is timing. Will this or won't this happen prior to the convention? Now it's very possible that this actually will happen before the convention, because according to the New York Times, quote, the FBI is expected to make a recommendation to the Justice Department in the coming weeks. Now, the thing about that is they can't make a recommendation until they actually meet with and interview Hillary Clinton. So she's the last piece in the puzzle. And until she gets interviewed, there's not going to be a recommendation. So according to an anonymous source with a Daily Caller, the FBI's interview with Hillary Clinton may take place on July 2nd, potentially in her home. Now, at the time that I'm recording this, no other source has confirmed this date, but we have reason to believe that this is true. One, because it's been in the making for weeks now, and two, because there's no campaign events. This day is completely clear for Hillary Clinton. So if uh, she was going to meet with the FBI, it would be a good day because she's not going to leave her house and that wouldn't attract press and whatnot. And they can meet privately, they can question her, and they can do it quietly. So the press may not even know if it does actually happen. So this isn't implausible. Now, if that really is the case, that the FBI will be making a recommendation in the coming weeks, we now know that the Justice Department has intent to agree with the FBI and potentially pursue charges against Hillary Clinton. Now, if this happens, it may very well be before the convention and everyone should hope that it happens then and that we get a recommendation before then, because if not, we're all screwed. But if this does happen, there's no conceivable way that Hillary Clinton can continue campaigning. She'd have to suspend her campaign immediately, because even though it's the case that she probably wouldn't be proven guilty in the court of law until after the November general election, well, you're already guilty in the court of public opinion, so you just can't continue on. She'd have to drop out. The pressure from everyone would be almost universal. There's no way she could conceivably continue. This potentially signals a gigantic political upset. Now, anticipating the criticism that I'll receive from Hillary Clinton supporters, they're going to say, Mike, look at the Benghazi scandal. Nothing came of that. This will be the same exact way. Uh, this is a partisan sham, and there's no evidence that she did anything wrong. Actually, according to the White House, I repeat, the White House, currently occupied by Obama, a Democratic president who endorsed Hillary Clinton, confirmed that the FBI's investigation is driven by facts, not politics. So this week changes 
everything. It all comes down to that recommendation now. It's all in James Comey's hands. This is huge. And I know he's under a lot of pressure because <laughs> the entire country is watching. So don't screw this up, James.